Good afternoon. It's a wonderful sunny day here in Kentucky and behind me here, hmm, if I can figure out where I'm on camera, behind me here is a whole stash of Aramaki Harley parts that uh, I've decided to unload on bring a trailer. So I've got my Sony camera today. Uh, the GoPro doesn't quite focus on pretty much anything. This doesn't have the stabilization that the, uh, the GoPro does. And uh, I'm not going to take the time to set the gimbal up because that's a pain in the ass. But, uh, you know, pick your poison right. It's been a successful day. I'm going a little light. I've got my, uh, what is this? Super coffee. Uh, I already had some caffeine pills earlier. This only has 200 milligrams caffeine. But it was a bucket bargain hunter. Uh, it looks like it's vegan, I think. So... It, Probably doesn't taste really good. Keto, vegan, I think. Dairy-free, gluten-free. Probably tastes like crap, but it was a bucket bargain hunter. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try. See if I can open this one-handed while I'm uh, filming and not slop coffee all over me here. Ah. It's acceptable. So, I got some pictures of all this part stash here. Managed to get up on the ladder without falling and breaking my neck. And, uh, you know, good. So, uh, so we've had a lot of success. Andrew is not here to help me, unfortunately. He's in Florida still, enjoying the, uh, the beautiful sunshine state down here. So I'm doing this one alone. He's gonna help me uh, take some videos hopefully of the, uh, of the bike, uh, the project bike that goes with all this stuff, of the running project bike, I should say, that goes with all this parts stash and, uh, and uh, get some footage of getting it running and started and showcasing it a little bit. But this is what we've got today. Uh, the sunshine's kind of blowing uh, this out a little bit. But uh, I laid this out, I've got some footage of it, and I'm gonna catalog it, put it up, and kind of take some cluster photos to get more details of it. But I figured I'd pan around here and get a video uh, and explain it a little bit. I'll probably post this public on YouTube uh, just for the sole sake of feeding the algorithm and uh, putting content up there regardless of how good or bad it is. Um, so if you're a Harley collector or an Aramaki collector, uh, this is going to be on Bring a Trailer. Uh, here fairly fairly soon please uh, comment and i can direct you to the auction or reach out to me uh, if you get to it too late sorry um, you know i purchased all this stuff with the intention of kind of going to some swap meets and things but uh, don't have enough time to do that and quite honestly this stuff is too nice for swap meets i found that uh, swap meets are best suitable to unload your garbage at not your nice stuff and uh some of this stuff is just acceptable or just okay, but this stuff, a lot of it is not garbage, regardless of what some may say. It has, a lot of it is brand new, new old stock, and a lot of it is in original packaging. So, uh, so let's go through it. This is everything I've got um, all laid out. It may have several photos, but everything that goes in the lot is on. I was able to fit it all on that sheet, on that photo sheet right there. So. Let's go ahead and pan through this. If you're watching for entertainment purposes, you just may want to drop out right now. But uh, if you know if you're a Harley fan and you're wanting to buy this, feel free to stay uh, to stay on. So you can see here we've got uh, yeah some old uh, hardware and stuff, grip, some wiring harnesses. Looks like we've got a brand new uh, throttle cable there. Yeah, carburetor assembly control. Fancy way to say it. Um, more wiring and then we'll roll through some of these packages i believe these three are empty uh, those actually have some things in them uh, some hardware in them but really cool to see the uh the old school harley davidson original packaging with the part numbers i don't know about you but i really am a sucker for that kind of stuff all right this is the chain box. I actually installed this. This just has the old original chain on it. I put a new chain on the project bike, but I kept the box and put the original chain in it. 
uh, mostly because I thought this looked really cool. This is the the OE chain for that. I purchased it new old stock on eBay actually, put on the bike and then kept the box because I think that's pretty neat. A Regina Extra. Some more wiring here. You know, some of the stuff's in various states. You can see uh, that guy's busted, but some uh, Delordo carburetor uh, air cleaner covers. Ah. Uh, I think these crank seals might be brand new. I actually installed new ones that I bought and put in the bike. It's been nice to know that uh, these were in there. Uh, potentially new. Bearings look used to me. Uh, here we've got what looks to be like some new old stock piston kits. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. No? Oh, oh my God, I'm touching on the part. I need to touch on the camera screen. Will my camera focus? Will my camera focus? Well, maybe not today. There we go. Borgo? Yeah, Borgo 44. I think that might actually be new old stock. Doesn't look like it has any wear and tear. If it does, not much on it. Here we go. Take the spot focus off, zoom back out. This is a, uh, this is, I think, an original new old stock piston kit. New in the box. Yeah, somebody marked it on top so they knew which way to install it, but it doesn't look like anybody ever did. Hopefully the light's not blowing out my shot too much, but it kind of looks like it is. It's got circ clips with it, but I don't see any rings. All right, so there we go. Boom, there's that. Looks like we've got a headlight assembly. That might actually be burned. We've got some gaskets here, some new gaskets. All right, we've got a spare used uh, magneto assembly with a couple uh, used condensers. It looks like we've got a, uh, an extra flywheel here. Wow, that almost looks like it's been polished on. Fancy. Some of this stuff I'd imagine is hard to find. Some uh, some extra gaskets and seals. Let me try to tilt this screen toward me so I can actually see here. All right. We've got a, a new old stock, uh, stop, and uh, let's see, horn, stop, and turn signal switch. Now, looks like that's just for parts, actually. It doesn't look like that's uh, operable. Sorry, guys. Guess that needs repaired. A Delordo carburetor kit, not sure if it fits it or not, but there's the part number and there's what's in it. We've got, gosh, ah, come on. Sun's coming across and blowing out my shots. I should have put this more in the shade, but that's what happens. An extra used coil assembly. Got the, uh, it's got the old tag on it there. That's kind of cool. All right. Rear brake light. I'm guessing that's a brake light switch or a harness. Yeah, looks like a harness. All right. Let's see here. There's something in that. I can feel it. We've got a new, uh, brand new stop switch if you know anything about these bikes you know that the stop switch the tail light circuit is a problem in the fact that they uh in the fact that the bikes will not run if the uh, tail light circuit is not working correctly so these are nice to have certainly and i'm guessing to venture to say this stuff is probably not easy to find on on uh for cheap anymore ah what well, looks like brand new uh clutch plates here We've got, what, one, two, three of them? I'm not sure if that's, a, uh, if that's a complete set or not, but the clutch does slip on the project bike when it's running, so that would have uh, certainly been nice to install while I had the, uh, the right side clutch cover off putting a crank seal in it in that side. We've got some steering stem bearings, it looks like, some other various hardware here, okay. I think that's front brake hardware there. We've got a collection of 
kind of some used, what looks to be just used spokes. They're not really chromed. Looks like they've been blasted. Here's a new one though. It looks to be new. Handy to have. Yeah, these, let's see, these are empty. And I think I said this earlier. This feels like it has something in it. This definitely has something in it. This has part in it. This has a part in it. Part in that. Feels like a part's in this. And there is something in there as well. Okay. Let's see what I hit on. Here's another control cable. Let's see, I think I hit on that. So it's a pretty rusty uh, triple tree there. An extra uh, speedometer drive unit. Let's roll around this stuff. Extra rear sprocket. This could use some repaint. Original, it's got original patina, but that's a rear rack. Pretty cool. Uh, we've got a rear passenger seat there. Uh, we've got a, uh, this is, has some, you know, this is definitely not uh, new by any means. Could use maybe a re-chrome or use as is, but this looks like a sissy bar for it. <laughs> I don't know why you'd ride a passenger on that bike, but all right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to save the cool stuff for last. So here looks like a set of shocks. I think they've been painted, but the paint on them is pretty good. Not too bad. Pretty neat. Um, uh, let's see here. We got a horn. Looks like some other steering stem stuff, some other hardware. Pile of rusty old hardware that I just dumped on the rag. I don't care to sort through that. Not sure what that is. A couple of license plate brackets. Now this stuff, uh, so we're going to get into the cool stuff now, folks. All right. This is a new old stock kit. It came as a set. This and this are saddlebag supports that would be used to hold up those guys. The old uh, the saddlebags there. So this was an original saddlebag accessory kit. This was new in the box, never installed. Um, this is the wrapper to this here. But you can see these are new in the wrap. There's the part number. These are new, not refinished as far as I can tell. And then it looks like, here's the hardware, here's the instructions. Oh, saddlebag carrier for M50 and M50S. The, uh, oh God, let's see if I can get to this. It's got the original directions. Um, you know, you can see they've seen better days, but they are all there. Somebody's gonna love this stuff, honestly. I, I don't know if they'll show any appreciation on Bring a Trailer. Uh, I may get, you know, I may royally lose my butt on this, but someone is really, really gonna love this. So, kind of wanted to put this all on BAT and see what would happen. And uh, I'm either gonna be really happy, I have a feeling, or I'm gonna be really disappointed. So we shall see. Yep, instructions, okay. What do we have here? Oh, let's lean over this. Okay. Yeah, the next cool thing. This would have been really cool to actually install on this bike. Uh, you know, if I had a viewer base yet that was really worth doing this kind of stuff. I don't care. I kind of lost steam on this project and don't care enough um, <laughs> to, to pursue it anymore. And this is brand new, so I don't know. I hate disassembling and installing a, a brand new accessory kit. I kind of like leaving it as, as, as is, but uh, I digress. This is a trail kit for M60, for M65 and M65S. Does it not fit this? Interesting. I thought it would fit on this guy. Well, you can do your research. There's the part numbers. Okay. Kind of bugging me. Full set of directions. Let's see if they're there. Oh yeah, look at that. All there, all complete. How often do you find that? I don't even know if you can find scans of this stuff online. You buy this, you may be able to sell copies or uh, get some fellow members of your, uh, of your forums and your enthusiast groups to buy you a couple drinks or do some other uh, unmentionable favors for you. Uh, but here we go. I think the trail kit, so basically the directions, uh, the hardware, 
I laid some of it out as an example. There's more hardware in this bag. I'll get photos of it. Um, this stuff's hardware, hardware. There's the part number on that. But basically, uh, what it included, this trail kit, is a high pipe. Uh, that, I believe it had a high pipe and it had, I think that might just be an extra exhaust pipe actually, um, an extra exhaust header. I'm not really sure. That looks like the exact same thing that's on it. Um, but yeah, high pipe and trail sprocket. It would be very, very interesting to see one of these uh, with that installed riding through the woods. I personally have not seen any of them online with this installed. That'd be really cool. Maybe, uh, maybe I can get Andrew to get squirrely enough and mock that up with me, or at least hold it up so that you guys can kind of envision how cool it would be uh, to spend your money on this and, uh, and buy all this stuff from me. All right. What do we got? Okay, saddlebags. These are fairly used. Um, you know, they're dry. Uh, yeah, they're not new by any means, but still cool old original saddlebags, cool old patina uh, that would certainly match the project bike that we're selling. Uh, you know, that's the set there. And let's see, what else do we got? I think we're getting down to the tail end here. Okay, uh, new old stock engine guard. From what I can tell, this is, this is new. Um, you know, it's been in storage. It looks like there's some, you know, a little bit of wear and tear on it. This has some, some uh, dimpling and stuff on it. I'm not sure what that's from storage, either that, or maybe they're, God, maybe they're chrome process was just that bad. I mean, it's funny because this doesn't even look like, this doesn't even look like tarnishing to me. Uh, this looks like a, this just looks like a, a chrome plating process that was just absolute uh, garbage. I know I'm not doing myself any favors here selling this, but that's very, very interesting. I mean, I guess it's Harley Davidson and it is Italian, so I'd believe it. No surprises there. And then you can see it feels like it's got the, uh, the installation hardware, the bolts with it right here in this bag. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Last of all, I didn't think I hit this. I'm sure these, I'm not sure, these may, I'm not sure if these are used or new. They've still got tread on them. They are original, but yeah, uh, original Pirelli tires to match get the leaves off here you gotta love these leaves in the fall i know the leafers love them let's see if i can focus cancel there spot focus there you go look at that pirelli tires what model pirelli mt53 tires two of them How do you beat that? That's, I mean, it's not like you can find stuff like this. You know, you can certainly buy tires this size, um, but you're not gonna find original ones like this. At least I don't think. You're not gonna find ones that look like this, that are period correct and match. And honestly, God, I wanna say these don't even have any dry checking on them. Really, really impressive um, for something this old really really impressive stuff you know most tires you get are are dry cracked these aren't which makes me think that these have been stored inside on a shelf somewhere uh and maybe never installed or removed from a bike after light use and then just put on a shelf somewhere but uh they've got dust but i really don't see any cracks let's see did I speak too soon? Does this one? Ah, oh, I think I spoke too soon. This one looks like it does have a sidewall crack. There we go. Yeah, there's a dry check there. Ah, oh, thought I had you people sold. And my camera now is not wanting to focus. I love, I love technology, let me tell you. I just need to, if we had any money, you know, I'd hire a camera crew or something because I hate doing this. All right, well, there you have it. Oh no, that's not even, oh. We don't have a Pirelli. Uh, we only got one Pirelli tire. 
know where Nitto came from. We got a Carlisle here. So I guess you only get one of the Italian wheels, guys. Now well, there goes my traction, huh? So there you have it. There you have it, folks. As we always say, there it is. Uh, let me uh, let me know if you have any questions, and uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching.